What's up guys? It's Moonlight Mimi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And yes, it is my new voice called Kendra, and my new look for 2021. I was actually in the middle of working on some ideas for my next episode of my Vyond series, Moonlight High School, that will release this fall, until I got this idea. Today's video is based off the title of this video, is giving you guys the context, meaning what exactly happened while I received four hate bases around 2018 to 2019. Now you all might be wondering, Moonlight, why the hell are you making this? Well even though I'm concerned about it's actually a bad idea, but after going through this pain long enough, I have decided that enough is enough. Therefore, this fight has to end today. If you really want to know why I'm like this, then just please watch the whole thing before you start making assumptions in the comment section below. It's probably gonna be a long video, but please understand where I'm coming from with this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now this first hate base in December 2018 is you guys know Carla Ann Young. She's an ex-girlfriend of Vidran Frigate who brainwashed everyone on Google Plus to hate me with her making up bullshit, saying I was causing drama against her and Stephanie Animator. While I was receiving backlash, making me really depressed, my best friend Aurora was talking to Carlin on Google Hangouts to calm her down from going against me, until all of a sudden, she replied to her with a gun picture, making a death threat. Aurora was shocked, but she didn't freak out. She just replied to Carla with have a good day, or something. From there, she called her out with a screenshot of it on Google+. Many users saw it, and they were shocked and infuriated. While they lost interest on Carla, they started apologizing to me and they were giving me some kind words and some gifts. After Vidran broke up with her, he and I started becoming a couple. After Carla's main account got removed, she made a new one and she started attacking me, begging for Vidran to come back to her, and she was threatening a suicide card, which was pretty immature and childish if you ask me. She threw a suicide card and the users were trying to tell her to stop, and leave social media if she's gonna keep it up. The drama continued on until she gave up and left the internet. I'm not sure where she is now, but I know she has a YouTube account and Instagram. But I wouldn't worry about it too much though. I moved on and I have found peace. The second hate base that also happened in December 2018 is I started feeling suicidal from the aftermath. Now before I go any further and before you guys think otherwise, I want you all to know that I did not make a joke about suicide, literally. I wasn't thinking properly, I didn't know any better, and I should have known better. And please do not go after her aura and attack her for this. This is not what I'm asking. I just want you guys to know what exactly happened. That is what the video is all about. Anyway, what happened is I wrote a post on Google Plus, saying I was feeling suicidal and I was thinking about ending it myself. Now again, before you think the opposite way, and I know I should have said this. But I actually had second thoughts. I took a break and I went offline on Google Hangouts to rest my head. While I was taking a break, Aurora unexpectedly opened her mouth on Google+, writing a post saying it was quote-unquote, too late. Meaning I quote-unquote, committed suicide. When I woke up and went back online, I noticed the outrageous posts, and I was so shocked. I started to have a mini panic attack about getting another hate base. However, after I received hundreds of backlash and accusations of me, making a death hoax, I told everyone what really happened, and they lost interest on Aurora. And weeks later, she felt really bad, and she apologized to me sincerely, and promising to not make a same mistake again. And so I forgave her, and we became besties. The third hate base I had on January 2019 is about my former internet sister Sierra. She created a Google Hangouts group chat, and it is about her and her fictional boyfriend Nice Diesel Busters. Wedding. I was there, Elvis was there, and so was the hypnotic bread kitten. However, when Sierra said something like, 
oh I can't wait to get married, or something like that, THBK got uncomfortable and she left the group. Therefore, Sierra and I got confused. From there, I started having flashbacks about the drama in December 2018. And so, I made a video about myself opening up to users about reforming myself. However, THBK's former bestie Malps has made a constructive criticism video to Sierra and I. She gave Sierra constructive criticism about dating fictional characters. And she gave me constructive criticism about making quote unquote, my feelings right now videos. Now I understand that making these type of videos is wasting people's time, but I guess Malps doesn't understand about me trying to redeem myself, which I'm trying to now. And I know watching my feelings right now videos are cringy, but she doesn't even know if it's not a my feelings right now video, because she hasn't even watched the whole thing yet, or that she doesn't even care. I called my video how I'm feeling right now vent is because I wasn't creative, or at least a little bit, and I couldn't come up with a video title. That's why it's called that. In that case, I got upset and I got into a cat fight with THBK on Google Hangouts. I was too angry and all of a sudden, I called her a bitch. Sierra wasn't too happy about it and when she confronted me about it, I didn't want to talk about it. And I can't even apologize because I always had a bad feeling about what will happen after. I was too upset and we got into a fight. After she cut ties with me, she called me out with a bad attitude. And she started to twist it by putting the blame on me when she's the one who made a huge mistake by dating fictional characters. Like why would I want to date a calming guy like Nice Diesel Busters in his 50s? It's so disgusting. Anyway, she lied to everyone, and she even called my videos crappy out of anger after I called THBK a name, and she unsubscribed me. Being angry is no reason to diss my channel. I watched her video and I was super upset. She made me leave after she made that video until her tablet account was gone. And I received not only hate, but I also received a grounded threat from GTA 4 Fanatic, and a death threat from Morgan the Beetle Girl, wishing that I was dead. While I was gone, Elvis was streaming, and Vidrin and Sierra was there. When I came back, I watched the stream, and Vidrin sounded upset because he misses me. Sierra on the other hand was like, whatever happened to Moonlight Wolf Girl though? And I got offended saying, why the hell do you even care when you're the one that made me leave after that insane lie you made? From there, it was around March, where Sierra felt really really bad for me when I was in tears. Like I had enough of going through this pain. And so she made a video saying listen, you have to stop attacking her. It is not her fault. She just made a simple mistake, and I'm the one who is in the wrong. It is my fault. But people didn't listen and they gave her the bull saying she was quote unquote, bashing opinions on me. During that time, I was in a hangouts chat with her and THBK. It was about Sierra reforming my friendship with THBK, or at least I was friends with her. I finally apologized to her for calling her a name. Everything was good and so. The three of us started to have a fun time. But not for long. I was streaming with Sierra and Vidran, and when Sierra was doing the squeals and making kissy faces and noises to the both of us, Sam Devlogger watched it, and he was disgusted. And so, he called her out for it. She watched it, and she didn't take it kindly. Therefore, she went from nice to the dark side by changing her username to Evil Sierra the Mean Girl and she did the stream saying she can act whatever she wants. And she thinks it's okay to think criticism is bullying. Speaking of not taking criticism like a big person, I was doing a live stream with my friends comforting me while I was in tears after having negative thoughts. And the trolls was calling me a crybaby. I did a stream because I felt like no one even cared when I knew my fans and my friends do care. Anyway, when we were trying to tell Sierra the things that are immature, she said that she doesn't care, and she was sarcastically laughing. But at the end, she starts to cry because she thinks my friend from Google Hangouts Free Entertainment 51012 was bullying her when in reality, he was saying the truth. She even crossed the line by threatening to report my stream to the police against him over criticism. 
After I ended the stream since I didn't want it to get more worse, Sam made a mini commentary video late at night and he whispers, Sierra, we're not trying to say you're not allowed, and we're not trying to be big bullies to you. We're just saying the truth. Therefore the police doesn't want to get involved in wasting their time watching an hour stream. During a couple months of making jokes about her, Sierra was making videos that she misses THBK and I. She made a stream about the times she and I had, and she misses them while I do not. But when she messaged me on Hangouts with her new avatar, I am still mad at her for what she has done. When I told her to not talk to me anymore, she said in her stream that she thinks it's a little harsh. And I was like, good. I don't care, because you made a police threat over a minor reason. And I do not want to be liable, nor will my friends ever be. We do not want to be responsible by law. And so I moved on from this toxic friendship. It was pretty rough, and she was very rude to me. I can't do this anymore. I made my decision. My fourth hate base was really really rough, and it's not gonna be too easy to explain this. In the middle of May of 2019, I noticed a few hundred people are losing hatred on this former Viander named Jet Ruby, who they thought she changed. If you don't know Jet Ruby, she was known as being racist by saying the n-word that rhymes with trigger, and she was a criminal defender of Lowry. I can't remember what Lowry did, but I believe she was giving trolls the attention with porn. When I saw Vidrin talking to her, I tried to reason with him on Hangouts that she's not a good person to be talking to, because she'll just start going backwards. I know you guys are thinking that it counts as opinion bashing. And I know it's not a right thing to do, but he turned everyone against me by making a post on Mew about breaking up with me. And because he didn't listen to me, he lied to everyone about me bashing opinions on Jet Ruby, he cheated on me by choosing Amanda Rose behind my back, and manipulating his fans to support him and his relationship with her. While I was receiving hate, I made an apology video and explaining why I did those bad things. I thought it was good enough for the drama to simmer down a little bit, but I guess it didn't work. It didn't change, and I realize that making apology videos is a waste of time, and it is like begging for forgiveness. A user is only sorry because he or she got called out. After I made an apology video, I saw Sierra's most sincere apology video to me in return after she saw my video. I watched her video and I did some thinking. Before I move on, I want you guys to know that like I said earlier, I didn't know any better and I should have known better. And so I did a lot of thinking, and this will probably make you guys really angry. But I made an opinion change video saying I lost hatred on her. The reason I did that is because I said in my apology video that we should move on and not attack anyone. Therefore I promised Sierra to not be mean to Morgan the Beetle Girl anymore. But at the same time, it was a stupid decision because I still hate Sierra and Morgan. And so I received more hate and I lost free entertainment, Sam Devlogger and THBK as friends. They blew me off for choosing Sierra over them. From there, I did a stream with Sierra and Aurora. We were having a fun time. And people on the live chat was being butthurt over me not noticing the live chat. I was having too much fun. But the worst moment that happened in my stream was Sierra did the squealing noises. It was actually on purpose for Sam Devlogger. Therefore he made a community post calling her out for it. Sierra saw it and she was busted. I ended the stream, and we were in the call reading the comments. The only comment that ticked me off was this certain user calling Sierra the N-word. Which is pretty racist, but I assumed it was just to insult her. But Sam told him to not say that, and this person edited his comment. When we left the call, Sierra made an apology video to Sam and she was in tears. But in this case, Sam made a video saying he will no longer be accepting apologies instantly. I watched his video and now I feel bad for him. I felt like it was my fault for starting that stream in the first place. A few weeks later, I realized what I did wrong. Remember I told you guys about accepting Sierra's apology? Well the problem is that it's called manipulation. 
I started to feel that Sierra manipulated me from being friends with free entertainment. And do you remember about her getting the police involved? Well in that case, I changed my mind about her, and I made an opinion change video saying I now hate her again. And then she called me a backstabber. A few days later, I saw Frenzy Media's stream about Jet Ruby being immature, and she was being racist once again. She used the N-word pass and she was giving Nick the attitude, and she was making stupid excuses to get out of it. When I watched his stream, I wasn't surprised because I knew she was not a good friend to get along with. I knew she would never change. After I made an opinion change video saying I now hate her, she directly messaged me on Discord. And she started going off at me. We got into a huge fight, and right before she blocked me, she told me to kill myself. And so after she blocked me, I blocked her back and I moved on from her. I want nothing to do with her anymore after she made a kill yourself threat to me, and she even exposed my face reveal in her server according to Sultan. Throughout a few months, a few hundred people were losing hatred on me after they saw that my suspicions were correct. I must say. First Morgan the Beetle Girl wished I was dead and then Jet Ruby told me to kill myself after she was caught. That's two times I was told that I should be better off dead, but I have fans that love me, and I really love you guys. I hope that this video helped you guys realize, that I am not actually a bad person. I do care, and I do care about feelings. I am not a bully, I just made bad decisions because I am going through rough shit in real life is all. I am redeeming myself, and I am not letting my ex-boyfriend Frenzy Media run into me from doing so after he ruined my birthday on December 2019 by starting an argument on Discord saying that he hoped my family doesn't sing happy birthday to me just because he doesn't like the song. I like the song, but he says he doesn't believe me. Anyway, I hope that this helps you realize that no matter how people see you otherwise, and no matter what they say about you, don't let it bother you because I had lots of toxic users who are attacking me on Discord and YouTube. But this year, I moved on and I ended up perfectly fine I think. So yeah, that's kinda my bullying issues on social media and what really happened while I was receiving major hate. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I appreciate you guys taking your time and coming to my channel. If you have not watched my Beyond series Moonlight High School, go to my channel and check them out. Feel free to do reaction videos as long you credit me. I never thought to do this video because I felt like no one really cared. But I'm sure a lot of you did. So that's what I'm doing. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like Moonlight High School and if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell to receive a notification for future Moonlight High School episodes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching Moonlight Productions, and I will see you next time. Moonlight Mimi, signing off.